there seems to be general agreement based upon your testimonies that we are able to detect ninety to ninety five percent of the near earth objects that are larger than one kilometer some where around sixty percent of the objects that are over three hundred meters so my question is this i haven't heard yet nor have i seen yet what percentage of the uh, near earth objects the incoming asteroids that are one hundred meters uh, or what percentage of those objects are we able to detect? 100 meters being, I think, Dr. Holdren, you described in your written testimony as the size of a city destroyer. So what percentage of the 100 meter near Earth object can we detect? And um, you have a figure for that. Yeah, at this point, I believe, oh, excuse me. I believe at this point that number would be a little under 10 percent. The number uh, for uh, 140 meters and above is 10 percent, and the 100 would be a little under Less 10 percent. 10 percent, and yeah. Administrator Bolton, you agree with that? Yes, sir, and that was on that second chart I showed okay. um, where it looks like uh, the less than 10 right. percent for Okay, anything how many that? objects are we talking about that we are not able to detect that might be the city destroyers? Numbers of objects? Yes. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I, I don't know that answer, and, I, and I, that's one thing I cannot take for the record because... Okay, well, what, what was the 10 percent of... I, I can answer that of, question. Okay, Dr. Holden. Chairman, the, the estimates of uh, how many objects exist, uh, near-Earth objects, right. in the range of uh, 140 meters or above are between 13,000 and 20,000 objects. And we so that's the number of which we've detected 10 percent. Right. Uh, that is the, uh, is the much more challenging goal uh, which the Congress uh, put before us so roughly, to identify 90 percent of those by 2020. Roughly 2,000 2, objects that are city destroyers we are not detecting. Is that roughly right? No, more. More. Because the, the the number we're detecting is ten percent of uh, thirteen to twenty thousand. Thirteen to twenty thousand. I, so I, I was going. In so that you're case. going the other way. Unfortunately, no. the number undetected. Well, I was going thirteen hundred to two thousand, and I was going to the larger figure. That's why I said two thousand. Uh, so the, the the number of undetected potential city killers is uh, is very large. It's in the range of uh, ten thousand or more. Ten thousand more. Yeah. Okay. Not reassuring, but what is reassuring, we hope, is the uh, unlikelihood that one of those uh, city destroyers would actually hit a city. Uh, as you pointed out, what, 2 to 3 percent of the Earth's area is urban area. Okay, thank you. Um, Administrator Bolden, um, what programs, what improvements, what developments can we expect in the next, say, two years or five years to be able to better detect these thousands of near-Earth objects that might uh, be life-threatening? Mr. Chairman, we continue our work, our collaboration with our international partners. Uh, that is very important. As, as Dr. Holdren mentioned earlier, he didn't specify, but it was a Spanish astronomer who, right. uh, amateur astronomer, actually, or I think do you, you did. Do you expect improvements in Earth-based satellite, I mean, telescopes, for example, that will enable us to better detect these What we are problems. really looking at is not improvements, but, but increase in the numbers of space-borne assets. Uh, we really need to have space-borne assets that, that are able to look. We are cooperating right now with a Space Act agreement with a, a, a private uh, company called B612 uh, right. that, that will be engaged in the, in the identification and characterization of asteroids, and, and I, my hope is that there will be more. Okay, and what percentage of these thousands would be able to would we be able to detect in the next few years that we are not detecting now? Any idea? Uh, our if if you talk about the 140 meter class, our estimate right now is at the present budget levels. That's present budget levels, not the going down budget levels. It it will be 2030 before we're able to reach the 90 percent level as prescribed by Congress to to detect and 30. characterize those. 90% uh, of the 140-meter class. Mm. Okay. Um, <laughs> thank you for the answer, though. Again, that's not particularly reassuring. Maybe we can help you out with the budget. Don't know.